Bruce, you're about a half a lap ahead of the pack, so ease off a little bit. You want to burn out before the finish. Yeah, Carol, that's not going to happen. Man has a death wish, I swear to God. Bruce, what's wrong? Ah, oh, she's really starting to pull to the right. Might be the suspension. You probably damaged it when you bumped tires with that LexCorp car. Slow down and head to the pit. No, I'm only a half lap from the checkered flag. Son of a bitch! Bruce, slow down and get out of the way! A spectacular finish today at the Newman Elimination as Bruce Wayne's Ferris 6000 suffered a mechanical malfunction and pinwheeled across the finish line. A twisted coffin for the billionaire. Or so everyone thought. Turns out Mr. Wayne survived that horrific crash and suffered only minor injuries. The always controversial Wayne had this to say. Mr. Wayne, can you tell us how it feels to come so close to dying? I'm not afraid to die. So this would have been a good death? This would have been a very good death. But not good enough. What do you think of Bruce Wayne's cavalier outlook on life, Dave? <laughs> if he doesn't want to live the high life anymore, Bill, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm with you, Dave. Hey, how's that weather out there? Well, if Bruce Wayne thought that crash was high, it reached 100 degrees today down in Gotham's Twin Towers, with the heat index making it feel like 108. That's our sixth day of 100 degree temperatures this month, and it looks like this heat advisory could extend through next week. The toll from this heat wave is also on the rise, with three more deaths reported today, all elderly individuals who were living in homes with air conditioning, but who weren't running them, apparently, trying to save on power bills. Now, we've heard from Gotham Power and Water that no electricity will be turned off while this heat advisory persists, so please, people, run your air conditioners, stay cool and safe. Bill? Thanks, Dave. Unfortunately, the heat also seems to have sparked many acts of violence here in Gotham City, the most hideous of which was last week's slaying of three sisters from Sacred Heart Academy. These murders are being claimed by a gang now known as the Mutants. Today, police found a mutant death threat nailed to the front door of the home of Police Commissioner James Gordon. Gordon, who faces retirement on his 70th birthday at the end of next month, made these statements. Commissioner Gordon, do you have any comment on the mutant death threat? I've got four weeks to nail those bastards, and if this means they're willing to take me on, I'm delighted. Tough words from Mr. Gordon. But incoming police commissioner Ellen Yindel had this to say. Captain Yindel, do you have any comments on the death threat against Commissioner Gordon? This threat against one of Gotham's finest will be treated with the utmost importance. Upon taking office, I will personally head up a special task force to investigate the mutant gang. Ironically, today also marks the 10th anniversary of the last reported sighting of the Batman. Dead or retired, his fate remains unknown. Despite his legendary exploits, most of our younger citizens today don't believe in the Batman. A recent survey shows that most high school students consider him nothing more than a myth. But real he was. And even today, the debate continues over his controversial one-man war on crime. Vigilante or hero, this reporter would like to think he's alive and well and enjoying an anniversary drink in the company of good friends. To Batman. To Batman. Tell me it's a good thing that he retired. I'm glad he survived to retire. He did. I'm not sure about Bruce Wayne, though. Don't tell me you're bored. 
You know, I used to pretend to be the playboy, the man about town. Now I am the playboy, the man about town. You know, it's really not as much fun as you think. Well, you certainly learned to drink. Yeah, I remember the old days, you with your ginger ale pretending it was champagne, fooling everyone. Well, almost everyone. You spoken to Dick Grayson? No. How long has it been? Seven years. Maybe it's time. <sighs> Look at what happened to Jason. No. I'm still sorry about Mr. Todd. He and Grayson were both fine Robins. You honor them. So what's being done about the mutant gang? You're getting involved again? Concerned. For an old friend. The mutants were unlike anything you or I have ever seen. What the public doesn't know is how many of them there are. They're like terrorist cells. You take one out, two more pop up. They don't have guidelines or a manifesto. They have violence and destruction. They're like a human virus. A cancer. They will destroy everything in this city and then They'll destroy the city. I don't know, Bruce. Maybe Gotham became hell when we weren't looking. And we're all in purgatory, we just don't know it. Well, these aren't your problems anymore, and in one more month, they won't be mine. Can Yandel handle it? Christ. Yeah, she's tough enough, I guess. And she's smart, but she's righteous. She believes in the strict letter of the law. We could be drowning in a sea of mutants. She wouldn't ask Superman for help. Oh, Superman. And you know Superman won't help. Unless the U.S. government tells him it's okay first. Greatest crime fighter on the planet. And he needs permission to stop a purse snatcher. He's the only one of us who still gets to operate and he acts like that goddamn Krypton Boy Scout. Uh, if I had his power, I'd be running this planet, not kissing our pathetic asses. <laughs> Sorry. Old habits. I'll bet. Well, I better be going. Sarah worried. Okay. Give her my love. Thanks, Jim. Anytime, Bruce. It's Bruce Wayne. Hey, 
Can I see that? was a vigilante. By the letter of the law, Martha. He might have been a vigilante, but he was really defending people who couldn't defend themselves against corruption. It was a noble fight. Here, let's cut through the park. Thomas, not the park. Not at this hour. It'll be fine. It's a beautiful night. Well, look at this fancy little family. You look like you got money. Hand it over. Thomas. Hand over your wallet. Thomas. It's all right, Martha. Stay calm. Now the watch <laughs> and the pearls. Hand over the pearls. No. Ah! Take your hands off her. Dad. Ruth, stay back. <laughs> here. Looks like a businessman lost his way. What are you looking at, Grandpa? You think you're tough? waiting for, man. Come on, slice and dice. We gotta keep a quote. I don't know, man. He's awful big. I think he's into it. Can't do murders if they're into it, man. Let's head over to the arcade. It's always a good time at the arcade.
Master Bruce. Master Bruce. Master Bruce, are you hiding? Uh, have you finally snapped? Clearly you didn't drink enough to get you through a solid night's sleep. Clearly I didn't drink enough to keep me from noticing. Set off the alarm, sir. This somnambulism is becoming a bit of a problem. Especially for those of us with a penchant for sleeping in our beds. Sir, hardly the hour for antiques, is it? Master Bruce? Yes. Where is your beard and mustache? Mr. Wayne, this is Harvey Dent. I just want to thank you. You've done so much for me. I want you to know that someday I will find a way to repay you. Bruce, Clark Kent, just thought you should know. I'll be out of town for a few weeks. Way out of town. Bruce, it's Selena. I'm lonely. You should come see me sometime. I'll leave the window open. Ciao. Children were last seen with two young men wearing the distinctive costume of the mutants. Anyone with information regarding the children are urged to call the crisis hotline. And now here's Dave.
Four people killed here in downtown in a senseless attack. But the police chief decided not to, citing death threats. Reports show that subway deaths reached an all-time high this past summer. Police once again had to put down and head off violence in the streets following the shooting dick. Using the same tactical get-up and the same weaponry we've come to expect in urban warfare in Iraq and Afghanistan. 62-year-old woman was reportedly raped and then mutilated. <laughs> are being reported down all over the suburbs to the west. It's a mean storm and it's headed straight for Gotham, right Dave? Like the wrath of God, it's headed straight for Gotham, Bill. Just drive. You painted me, Joni. You got my face silk, please. You messing with my livelihood. <laughs> Get you, Joni. When it grew another nostril. Come on, man. Take that someplace else. Uh, I don't need the grief. Man, shut your hairy face up and let me handle my business. Uh, make it quick, huh? You left unsatisfied customer back there, Joni. Listen, so that bastard, he wanted me to... <laughs> Look at you. Make you smile a little wider. So please. Hey, he's up back there, huh? I ain't paid this thing off yet. That ain't us, man. Somebody's on the roof.
Come on, Michelle, I gotta get home. We'll cut through the arcade. Carrie, I'm not sure about this. Come on. Carrie, no one comes here anymore. Brad says the mutants hang out here. Chill, Michelle. It's only like a block. Besides, I figure even the mutants know to go home when it's raining. But Brad said- I know, Michelle. God, don't go all Billy on me. Besides, it's too bright in here for trouble. Carrie? Yeah? The lights went out. I know. Shit. Yeah, chick, 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 chick. Yeah, chick, chick, chick. Chick, chick. Yeah, chick, 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 chick. Yeah, chicky, chicky, chicky. Well, look at those little chicken legs. Let's start with the little one. I like this one. Yeah, this one. I like her too. Well, all right then. Her. <laughs> Hey, don't tear my jacket, Rock. Why can't we all just hang out and be cool? Hey, where'd you guys get those visors? Is there like an official mutant gear store or something? Is there? Buy some dice, man. Slice your dice! It's a revolutionary breakthrough in hair replacement technique. No, it's not. That's the Venezuelan thing that I saw. I don't know where anything. Where they inject you like seven times I don't know in anything the back of the about head. the Venezuelan thing. It's te disgusting. You should learn it. I don't want to learn. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting a report of multiple sightings of a large bat-like creature seen on Gotham's south side. Witnesses are saying that the bat creature attacked and disabled three cat burglars that had plagued that neighborhood. You don't suppose. This is Abe Lincoln 30. We're in pursuit now.
Just leave him. This is Abe Lincoln 30. I need backup in an ambulance to Commerce Industrial Park. he was real. You heard the man. Those creeps are his. Are you serious? Stay out of his way, kid. You're nuts. Dude, that was Batman. That couldn't be Batman. Turk said he killed Batman. Yeah, Turk says a lot of shit. Weak. Doesn't feel safe. Quiet. Did I get him? Oh, shit. seven working defenses from this position. Three of them. Disarm with minimal contact. Three of them. Rest, mister. You just crippled that man. He's young. He'll walk again. But you'll stay scared, won't you? Cigarettes. No wonder you move so slow. Don't you know these will kill you? I mean it, man. Get away from him. I'll shoot! Don't try it, kid. He's being patient with you as it is. Hey, Bats. How's it going? Pills. No end to your bad habits. Please. I don't need an ambulance. We should probably call an ambulance, Bats. Besides, backup will be here any second. You almost done? Call your ambulance. Yeah, this is Officer Eaton. I need an ambulance at 213. You know, I saw you in action fire. once. When I was younger. Like, schmuck face over there. I was walking my beat, and I saw this guy pull his gun on this girl and... Tell Commissioner Gordon, we need to talk. 
sherbet, but how's he gonna? Okay, I remember. The light above police headquarters. Sure thing. Good man. Hey, Bats! Good to have you back. I never left. Now, this next case is fascinating. He's been catatonic ever since he was brought in. No name on his file. You probably heard of him. Call him the Joker. No one knows his real name. Legend has it he's a failed comedian who resorted to petty crime to support his pregnant wife. What we do know is he was being pursued by police when he fell into a large amount of toxic waste. Is that how he got the looks? Yeah, at least his skin white. Affected his hair follicles turned his lips red. He had a psychotic break at that point. Of course, his exploits have been infamous. If you look closely at the corner of his eyes... You can look at him. I'm ready to move on from this one. I understand. We can come back to him later. He isn't going anywhere. Despite massive Soviet arms buildup in the water surrounding Kortomaltis, now we go down the president here. today yeah, promised right. that the United States would not be the first to deploy nuclear weapons. And now to recap today's top story. Police phone lines and emergency circuits are still jammed with calls by citizens reporting what seems to be a siege on Gotham's underworld by none other than the Batman. Missing from the streets of Gotham for 10 years, the Batman was considered by many in public service to be a vigilante, but remained popular with the public at large. It is even suggested that some in the Gotham Police Department were working with the Batman, cooperating with him on raids and arrests. He growled and snarled like an animal. He saved my life, but he was terrifying. That man was cutting my face, and this other man was just sitting there letting him do it. That sucker would have killed me. This big Dracula dude, he came out of nowhere and just messed Silk up. Did you talk to him? Excuse me? Did you talk to him? No, no. I didn't stick around to talk. He was like a monster. He had fangs and wings and he could fly. Reality check. Talk about composure, then total lack of. He's just a man, okay? He's about 12 feet tall and weighs 400 pounds. Although most descriptions match the method and appearance of the Batman, Commissioner James Gordon is still refusing to come. The Batman. 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 Ha <laughs> ha.